Proverbs 16, verse 4. So the Lord had made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the days of evil, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. So in the beginning, okay, Alpha. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was the light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. beginning is the first day. So the first day, the, the canvas of earth was without form. It was void. And can you please imagine the void? Yeah, exactly. To me, void means darkness because you, you don't know. It's like confusion. So that was the current state of the canvas. And then God's spirit moved on the face of the water. So void, you know, like water doesn't have any form. So that's the image that uh, that is described here. And then the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the earth. So the earth was never hidden from God's face. Let there be light. Okay, so here is the sound. So first was the Spirit of, the God, of God moving and then God spoke. The sound of his voice and then, you know, we might imagine like God really saying like, let there be light, but imagine there's no language. What is the the the, the language of the, of the Holy Spirit? Because he talks Spanish, Creole. He talks like all type of language, Mandarin, da 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 da. We can go on and you know like and continue. And I'm pretty sure he talks the language of the animals too. So so what was the language? And even in the Bible, when uh, God was speaking to Moses, people were hearing like um, thunder. And some were hearing like clear words. So this is something to keep in mind. Anyway, so the sound of his voice caused a separation. So separation of light and darkness. Clash. And then God saw that the light was good. And then he decided to call the light day. And then call the darkness night. And keep in mind that there is no moon and there is no sun at that time. It's basically just uh, spiritually what happened. So this is spiritual, spiritual speaking. In this lesson, we'll be talking about how cells reproduce. How and why do they do this? Well, they use a process called cell division to make new cells.
For example, your body heals a paper cut through division of your skin. Unicellular organisms, meaning creatures that consist of just one cell, such as bacteria, usually clone themselves during cell division. Our creatures will restore humanity to the greatness intended for it. And the ones made with my egg and my son's sperm will be the most powerful. They'll be our Napoleons deploying their brute brethren to kill every man on the planet. <laughs> Except for the ones we keep as sex slaves. <laughs> I saved the part of my son I really needed. I will be able to keep making special creatures like him, incubated in her. and in all of you, until we fulfill our mission. What fucking mission? Saving the world, stupid. The music that I create is, is the food that I want to, you know, surplus the world with. Only want to see you, see you laughing, yeah, in the purple rain. Let it rain, action. Alright, should we do this game? What game? This game, you know, I told you about it earlier. Oh, okay. I ask you ten things, right? <laughs> then I tell you the first thing that comes to mind. It's going to be just one word, so you can answer it in a sentence, or you can answer it in one word, or you can say pass. We are more than just kings and queens. We are at the center of the universe. Holidays. Holy days. Christmas. <laughs> Nimrod's birthday. Do you want this? Say yes. Yes! What would you give up for it? Anything. Anything. Oscar goes to... Congratulations. Anna Victoria Alcott, the author. Thank you.
so sweet, but not good enough. And then I went out and bought some books that are about anatomy. And then you started imitating. Well, not really imitating, because, you know. But I, I, I use them as a, as a source material. Yeah. So why'd you want to do anatomy stuff? Because I felt like it. Because you felt like it? Right. Just uh, becoming conscious of your own body. <laughs> No, no, just, um, just, just from for more more ac academic references to juxtapose them with what I do normally. Yeah, and what do you what do you say you do normally? That you're. The I, I guess my, I guess my, my first instinct would be to, to do a head. Here on quilted bedding material, painted a bright yellow and tied to a wooden frame, is the expressive face of a black man. Humorous, expressive paintings. It's just uh, go go through. What's what's this? 
Pluto. That's based on a, a drawing that was the first drawing of the moon by Galileo. Ah, and so this is actually an image of, of the moon there. But actually, it's an image. Actually, it's actually an image of the moon. No, it's based on a drawing of the moon, but it's an image of Pluto. Yeah. This looks like an eye. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the that's the evil eye, the Malocchio. Oh. And, uh, and below there, what's 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 this down that, the way? That's a Roman belt buckle. This is, this says parasites. Parasites. Yeah. And uh, what? Why do you? What, parasites meaning people? No. Are, meaning 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 parasites. Yeah. Meaning parasites. Okay. Okay. So, what happened? There was a separation during the first day, of course. So, the light. Like we all know, light exposes, like this camera is uh, recording. Light exposes what's in the dark. Also, exposure emphasis um, the shadows uh, and the shades also, you know? Like when there is no light, you cannot, you don't have any, like you can differ something that is red from something that is purple because there is no light. But when there's light, now you're able to differ things and you know, you see more clearly, let's say, and you're able to identify. Colors cannot be seen in the dark. Okay, and also that reminds me of a very, um, um, you know, like when we talk about light, okay, it's also a symbology and it's an introduction to Jesus because who was the light of the world? Jesus. So in that case, we're really like speaking spiritual, but in the physical later, okay, the light manifests itself in flesh. But in that case, um, we're talking spiritual. So let's recap. Separation within, okay, creation. So what happened in the first day? The separation within, because God is whole. Everything was made by God, for God, and for God's purpose. So God as one, okay, just imagine that. And then from that, God commanded to the light to appear, which brought separation in. So one symbolizes being whole. Like earth was basically water. <laughs> does, does that make sense? I hope it does. Okay. So then in the first day, we saw the effect of God's word, okay, of God, uh, God commanding what happened because the word of God never comes back without effect. Then there is only one God. God creates from within. So, you know, what, what? sometimes we imagine, oh, I'm going to create something um, that I've never seen. But yeah, to create that thing, you have to take materials that God put uh, into your hands to create something new. God w already existed and will always exist. And this is the reason why the number zero does not exist, really. The zero was man-made. So God literally created from within. So he created the darkness just like he created the light okay so god is whole it's the same principle was used for the woman who was made from the man womb from the womb womb i don't know the same goes also with god jesus the holy spirit and jesus the light of the world and then also one represents symbolizes um sacrifice it, it reminds me the sacrifice of the firstborn and god was uh, jesus was the firstborn of god because he was god's son directly and then through that we're able to be also god's son through jesus one represents alpha and omega beginning and end because it started with god in the beginning god like the first verse tells you that so one equals one and then one times one equals one, okay? And one divided, divided by one equals one. So this is why in the Fabinacci, Finabucci system, we saw that there was one, um, then one, and then it goes with two. The zero was added, but in reality, the zero does not exist. It's really man-made, okay? Keep that in mind. So just like Ephesians says, there is one body, and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Okay, there is not like one billion uh, faiths. There is not one billion gods. Even though like people want to believe it, well, that's not the case. Whether you want to believe it or not, there's only one God, that's it. And now how is one represented as a symbol? So 
Sometimes it is represented as a dot. Sometimes it is represented as one line, okay? And this reminds me of uh, uh, the numerical or geometry. So this is what we're doing here. Also, it reminds me like the light, let there be light, reminds me of uh, the shutter of a camera. The more, uh, the more light comes into the camera, and the more the image is exposed and the lesser the light, depending on the, the setting, of course, your subject might be underexposed. So the camera is basically, it's an invention that uh, works with the energy of light. Now in the world, okay, that we live in today, it reminds me of um, United Nation. Yes, United Nation. So it also has to do with unity, of course. Also, um, the United Nation and the United Kingdom flag also has the same the same logo, but united, united. Just keep in mind the word united. It's like the, the working as one. Okay, and then I wanted to compare like both. Both worlds, the darkness and the light. So what is one represent in the darkness? So uh, darkness symbolizes basically the absence of light. Okay, just keep that in mind. And then light. Um, white symbolizes the presence of light okay so on the left okay so you see death and then on the right the opposite of it will be light and then we have blindness which on the opposite will be sight and then on darkness we have on the left we have the world and the opposite will be men because god so love men i don't know why the verse says I, when the word said like when the verse says god so loved the world we're talking here about men men flesh men he's not talking about like the world okay because who was created as uh as his image it was the men not the world okay and the world were cr was created for men to live in it and to prosper so okay and then night okay darkness on the left night and its opposite will be day then division on the left would be universal like something that is united that is for everyone you know and division you know like it's like okay this is for this type of group and then this type of group you know like there's a lot of division also darkness means confusion you know and on it on the opposite on the light side it will be assurance you know like you 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 trust god and then on the darkness sin would be the sin the opposite would be purity shadows the opposite would be colors lucifer the opposite would be jesus you know lucifer is like the star the light okay and then jesus is the real light and then gaia okay um the opposite would be god and gaia is known in the occultic um in the occultic she he's known or she's known as uh sound you know like sound of creation um and she's person personified as a woman too Truth and truth.